Hello guys, in this video I would like to teach you how to create a pop-up or sign-up form that able to integrate with an email marketing autoresponder or email marketing software. So right now I'm going to show you how this pop-up form looks like. So basically I'm going to show you at this particular page there will be a pop-up. So you will see a pop-up like this where you can see there is a sign-up form over here where you can put in your name and email address and this is how you capture subscribers and this is how a pop-up form looks like. The most important there is an exit button over here where visitors won't feel <coughs> compelled to sign up or subscribe to you so they have the choice to exit this pop-up form. So how to do this is pretty simple. So you're going to need to install a few plugins. So in order for you to do that, you need to have an email marketing software or plugin, which is called MailPoet version number two and the pop-ups plugin, which is the WordPress pop-up. If you try to look at the description over here for this WordPress pop-up plugin, says it can integrate with uh, Gravity Forms, Ninja Forms, and most importantly, the MailPoet version number two, which is the email marketing software. So once you have downloaded the plugins for the pop-up and the MailPoet version number two, let's go to pop-ups. When you're inside this pop-ups dashboard, just go to add new. So from here, you can just put in whatever title you want. I'm going to put a test one first. And you will see you are just literally editing. We can put in all the words over here. So let's try to put some words. So basically, I've put in the words which is sold as campaign handbook. Let's try to make it as heading one first. So you got your heading of your pop-up. At bottom below, you need to put in a sign-up form. So how to do that? So when you inside this dashboard and when you have the MailPoet version number two plugin, which is right over here, automatically you will see a symbol over here, which is which it says at MailPoet newsletter subscription form. So what you need to do is click on it and go to here. So these are the forms which I have inside this MailPoet autoresponder software. So I'm going to choose either one, which is this one, the solo ads campaign sign-up form. Let's click on it and insert new form. So you will see something like this. All right. So if you want to see how it looks like, just go to here, just try to publish it first and go to view pop-ups so you will see a pop-up something like this so this is how it looks like so you're halfway done right now let's just go back to the uh, dashboard so let's try to put some pictures on top of this title so just go to add media and in your media library you can put all your images I'm gonna put my images over here something like this let's just try to adjust the size of it something like this so you can see the uh, color of my images is not in proportion with my pop-up form so what you need to do scroll down over here so this is the pop-up background color go to here let's choose white color all right let's go out and see yeah it look nice so over here this indicate the box Width. so you can change the width size going to make it a little bit smaller which is around 450 pixel so the padding going to make it smaller as well which is 15 pixels so here you can change the text color the shadow color or this thing so the most important part which is the pop-up display rule where you have the choice to show this pop-up in any scenario so let's go through each and one of them so you can show this pop-up if the user rule of this website is blah 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 so mostly we won't use that you can also show this pop-up in one of your blog posts 
So these are the blog posts which I have. So you can show this pop up at each of this uh, post. So let's say I'm going to show this pop up at one of my posts, which is free email marketing software for newbies. Done. So apart from that, you can add the rule as well. So you can show this pop up. Let's say you can show it at your front at this about us page as well if you want to. So what if you want to show this pop up at every single page inside your website? You can do this as well. Just go to here and go to page type is equal to all pages. So this pop up will show at every single page inside your website. So let's keep it this way first and we will do a test after that. So for the trigger action, you can adjust how many seconds for it to pop up. Let's say five seconds after the page has finished loading. Or you can choose each of the options over here. Well, most of the time we'll just choose seconds after the page load. So I'm going to put it as one second so we can see it immediately when we do the testing. Once it's finished all these features, just go, just try to go up and let's update it first. Once you finish, go back to your dashboard for this pop-up. So right now, let's try to see whether your pop-up is functioning or not. So this is the one you've created over here. And let's try to view my website first. So this pop-up is supposed to show up in every single web page inside my website. So these are the page that I have. So let's try to open some of it, let's say for this page on email marketing. So I'm going to open it in an incognito mode. So it should be appear within one second after the page is finished loading. Yeah, there you go. You can see the pop up over here. So you can adjust the uh, title if you want to make it bigger, something like that. So this is the uh, sign up form, which is connected to the mail poet. All right. So let's try to exit the the uh, window and let's try to view it at another page How about this one contact us page see whether this pop-up will show up or not yep it showed up again so this is how it looks like so right now let's try to do some final touchings on this pop-up let's go back to edit and let's try to make adjust the pop-up rules over here yeah let's try to do it this first I want to make this pop up to be showed at my front page. So which is my home page. So I'm going to put it home. So once I've done on this, let's go here, which is the trigger action. I'm going to put it as a 10 seconds. All right. So let's go up and update it first. Done. Let's try to view it at my front page in and connect on mode. So it should be able to show up in 10 seconds after the page has finished loading. So it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There you go. So this is how you create pop-up form and able to adjust how it pop ups and which page or which post pop ups and the best thing is that you can have an email marketing autoresponder side of form connected to this pop up form and this is how you capture subscribers when visitors are landed on your front page or any pages so if you have any questions just drop me a comment below i'll try to answer it i hope you guys have fun doing that and hope you guys have learned a lot. Thank you.